Howdy folks, Corky Duke here. Bomber Crew is the game and Playboy Rules is the name of the bomber. Now let's see what a mission we can send these beautiful playmates on next. See, what do we got here? Command Bunker Raid, we've already done that. Enemy Armor Down. Now let's go for Operation Fogia. It's time to strike at the enemy's air power. Reconnaissance has revealed volatile jet fuel, fuel stored at Fagia. Accurate hits on these could destroy the entire complex. So let's head on out. <clears throat> Ladies, the target for today is Fagia. And this is a critical mission. And we're off. This will advance us in the campaign to the final stage of the campaign. So, my basic goal is to try to get uh, Operation Avalanche done before the Tennessee Titan bomber campaign did it, which uh, took 41 missions for them to do that. So, I think the girls are going to beat that as it stands right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they're heading on their way to do that right now, so it looks like they just might break it, break the record of 41 missions. And we'll just keep flying missions, like I'm doing with the Tennessee Titan. So, and I'm introducing a new campaign here soon. So, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll uh, be known... Uh, You'll be uh, notified when it comes out. So, brand new bomber, brand new crew. So, another different concept. So, and where are the fighters at? There they are, 1030 low. All right, girls, I tagged him, you bag him. <clears throat> All right, Barbara. You're on your <coughs> port sheet gun. Oh, <laughs> ten of Barbara Moore got one. Oh, she got another one. She got two of them. Good shooting, girl. Not only is she gorgeous, but she's a great shot. Outstanding. All right. That third fighter never made it past the bomber to come at him from the rear. So, good shooting, girls. There we are over the Mediterranean Sea. Got a ways to go. Now I'm wondering if there, there might be photo opportunities here. Let's drop down low, because if they're is going to be any photo opportunities. It's going to be over the sea taking pictures of ships. So I don't want to be hassled with it coming home because I'm going to basically want to get to the ceiling when we're coming home. Get Barbara over to the other side. That's uh, something that uh, not a whole lot of people that play this game do that. And I find it's, it works out pretty good because the fighters seem to attack in piecemeal fashion. And then you notice the focus is now available on this side for Barbara. Oh, Susie Simpson got that one. Good shot, Susie. Uh, and I've noticed that uh, the bombardier can use every single one of these, uh, I don't know what you call them, abilities. Yeah, they're called abilities. On the left side, and then cross over to the right side, and they're all available. So it's based on the gun position, not the actual uh, gunner, so that's a pretty good thing, I think, where's the, where'd that thing go, there it is, it's coming in low, little bastard, take that, <laughs> good shot, <laughs> good shooting, Cheryl, Cheryl Bachman got that, the tail gunner, <laughs> 
I mean, just a few seconds, and it was just a big ball of mass of fire and broken steel. Good shooting, Cheryl. Anyway, here we are scraping the Mediterranean Sea. Let's try a radio for recon, see what kind of information we can get on the enemy. Is there going to be a photo opportunity over here? There sometimes is. Ah, oh, there's that lightning again. And we got the fighters coming in at us right now. They're jumping us. Well, my girls can handle it. They already took care of the ones off to the right. <laughs> oh, these girls are getting really good at this. Taking some damage. Critical fire bomber. What the hell? Ugh. Nobody's flying the plane. Get in there, Jenny. Ooh, mercy. That was close. That was close. Ooh, that was very close. Ugh. Ooh. The pilot started. The fire started in the pilot compartment of all places. And then the pilot had to get out of there. And for a while we were flying without any pilot. That was scary. But she, Jenny got back into the pilot compartment. And I'm healing both of them right now. That was scary. We almost crashed. Let's activate her lock position again. Wow. That was... That was definitely scary. But, oh man, I'm gonna get, I get to mid altitude to avoid this lightning. It's setting the damn bomber on fire. It's the only thing that sets a bomber on fire is a lightning. Ah, anyway. Ah, stop it. What is up? Oh, crap. Here we go again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay, enough flying at low altitude. We seem to be very attracted to all this lightning. Is this a part of the game or what? Come on, come on, get it in there. Come on. Ah, the hell. Get in there. Come. All right. Oh, what the hell? Okay. We're heading the wrong way. All righty. Now we get back on, <laughs> back on our net proper navigation. Stay out of the loop. Man, I never had that kind of problem before. Flying low and you attract lightning and then the bomber catches on fire. Give me a break, man. Anyway, we're good to go. I don't see any photo ops, so boy, we just <laughs> okay. We're all right now. Ah. Uh.
Hill, Bar Hill Barbara, apparently. <coughs> she uh, touched the fire or something, I don't know. But anyway, this is important when you're oh, still nothing. When you're deciding the secondary uh, abilities for the crew member to give uh, the navigator and the radio operator uh, first aid uh, abilities, because that way they can heal people like the the pilot and the uh, uh, bombardier without them having to leave their station. So uh, my roommate just got home. What's up, Eddie? Good meeting. Yeah, they didn't talk anything about insurance. <laughs> uh, they were too afraid to tell you that if you could, with a 10-minute phone call, you could save a bunch of money on in your insurance by switching to Geico. That's what they're afraid of. Man, I'm flying at low altitude. Lightning strikes the plane twice, starts a fire on board. At one point, um, Jenny, the pilot, had to get out of the pilot compartment because of the fire. I put the, our Angelo Molina, the top turret gunner, put the fire out, and then we got Jenny back into the pilot compartment before the plane crashed. When we were turned completely around, we were going the wrong way because of all that commotion. That was interesting. So now I, now I know not to fly low level for too long because the lightning seems to attract it. I don't know what's the, what the deal is. But oh. But when we're at mid altitude and you just got hit by lightning again. So that could be different weather in the game on each mission. That could be it too. Which and we can't see anything, so we're gonna have to drop down. And we're still getting hit by lightning. Get Barbara over to the left cheek. Oh, we got another fire, we sure do. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Come on, Angela, put it out. Ah, uh, now ninja number three is on fire. Ah, uh, this turned out to be a little pain in the ass mission. Ah. Okay, we're almost to the target. I'm not sure if I can hit this target. I know I can from mid altitude, but I'm so used to doing it from low. Alrighty. Calling the fighters. Ah. Alrighty. This has been an interesting mission, that's for sure. Bombs away. I saw a target on that battleship. I know I did.
and our friendly fighters are here. And they'll deal with the fighters. A couple of crew members slightly injured. We'll get them healed up before we head back home. Let's do Cheryl Bachman right now. All right, we're looking good. Oh, a little bit of damage. Not too big a deal, though. We still got our landing gear, and that's always what's important. Smile, boys, you're on B-17 Candid Camera. Let's get high and dry and get out of here. Huh? Oh, forget it. I don't, that's, I don't care about that ship. I'll have to mess around with it. Uh, see if I can, can't, because a, a target did pop up on it. I saw that. I'm going to watch the video cause, and confirm it, that a target did pop up on that thing. I was wondering if I could have uh, actually sank it. Probably won't do me any good. I don't seem to care about that in this game. <clears throat> don't you call my girls scaredy cats? They're very brave. Anyway, well, we don't need a navigator right now, so we'll send Katie to the sick bay. And all we gotta do is fly home now. We shouldn't, at high altitude, we shouldn't have any lightning hitting us. I've never seen that before. I've been playing this game. I've been putting over 200 hours on this game. I've never seen a bomber get hit. What, three times by lightning? Twice at low altitude and once, once at mid altitude? I've never seen that before. So, but then that could be some of the variations of the game, which is actually kind of cool, because it did... <laughs> create a very uh, tense moment there when we didn't have a pilot flying so, because the, the pilot compartment was on fire so. but the plane didn't crash so that's always good news all right marina you got them coming in low 12 o'clock low <sighs> good shooting So, number three engine is still slightly damaged, but it's still operable. Oh, get her into sick bay. Another tip if you're playing this game during these lulls, that's the time to get your crew uh, healed up. So, because you don't want to get jumped by fighters when you're, the health bar in one of your gunners is very low or even halfway. So in this lull, when there's no fighters attacking, get them to sick bed, get them healed. Get one of the uh, uh, first aid guys, or girls in this case, on them and get them healed before you, see? And what's good about that is she'll go right back into the ball turret and get them healed before you encounter the fighters again. But you're going to want to, that's for sure. We're at the ceiling, flying good. Lieutenant Barbara Moore is in sick bay, getting her nooks and her flesh wounds healed up. And we're doing good. How close are we? Katie back into the navigator seat. She healed the pilot. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. Better check the fuel status. Ah, three fires on this thing. Yeah. 
We'll be alright with fuel. We got plenty of fuel. Might have to lean it a couple more times, but we got enough fuel. And we're going to advance into the final phase of the campaign with a good bomber, a veteran crew. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Like Sir Barbara's over to the port cheek. She's not. She is now. Come on, Tanya. We got more coming. I don't think these fighters will be able to reach us. Oh, good shooting, somebody. Barbara Moore got it. Lieutenant Moore, good job. Good shooting, girls. And well, we still got a ways to go before we get home. Pop Angela down. Master Sergeant Molina, check the fuel status. Ten minutes. Lean it out. It'll bring us home. Uh-oh. These guys are trouble. These look like comets. Okay, I'm already there. Angela's already there. Yep, that's exactly what they are. We did a corkscrew just in time. Those were comets, that's for sure. We gotta get those things before they make another pass at us. Oh, right, Cheryl, they're coming up from behind you. Sweet. Great shooting, Cheryl. Cheryl Bachman. Great shooting. She turned around, got the one on the left, and then swung right around and got the one on the right. Man, I love having veteran gunner girls. That's what they're called from now on. Veteran gunner girls. Look at this. Boy, those comets. You always tell they're comets because they're coming right in at you. We're at high altitude. We're at, at our ceiling. And those things are coming right in at us. And you know they're comets. You just know it. And sure enough, they flew right by us. We got one on the first pass. And then Cheryl Bachman took care of both of them when they were coming, when they were behind us trying to make another pass at us. Which is ridiculous because the comets didn't come out until 1944. By then, Italy would have been liberated by the Allies. So this campaign would have been over with at that time. But oh well. I don't play these games for historical accuracy. I play them for fun. <laughs> uh, but still, they could have come up with something else besides jets. I mean, jets never, German jets never saw any cam, any uh, action in the Mediterranean. Oh, look at this. We're already home. Damn, I didn't realize we were so close to home. Was it a mission or two ago where I actually overshot the base because I was rambling on? <laughs> oh, that was funny. I think it was two missions ago. I'm not sure. All right, give me one more emergency dive and we'll be... We'll be there. Well, we're at about, what, 15,000 feet now, I think? Doesn't really say, but that's uh, that's a guess on my part. Another emergency dive will put us down on the ground. 
And these girls can chalk up another mission. We got two girls coming close to their 25 missions. Samantha Torres and uh, uh, Cheryl Bachman. Yep. Lower the landing gear and land. That's all we got to do. Got any damage? Some superficial damage. Uh, port landing gear is slightly damaged. Uh, number three engine is slightly damaged. It's still running. So. But we're good. Look at that dive bomber approach to the runway. I don't have much, must have mentioned that about a million times in this game. So this is a very interesting mission. With the bomber catching on fire three times, twice at low altitude and once at mid, getting struck by lightning. Ah, anyway. Operation Fargia. Success. Playboy Rules is back home. Patch up all those holes and we'll be ready for the next mission. Alrighty. And see what we can upgrade on the aircraft. Oh, let's see. Fuselage is all armored Mark IV. Yep, sure is. For a minute, that's fine. Electrical system. Upgrade that. Already. Self-sealing fuel tanks. Yep, oxygen tank. Upgrade that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Ah. Uh, Left waist, oh, no, that's everything upgraded, no. All right, oh wait, that's, no, we don't want that, okay. Yeah, all right, leave it at 50 cal, we don't want to drop it down to 303. Okay, that's good, go to overview, and we'll say goodbye. Corky Duke is my name, uh, CorkyDuke.com is my website. Uh, all the girls have Facebook pages and uh, Facebook groups that you can join and uh, Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. You pretty much find them just by uh, searching for their name. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've had a couple of new subscribers this week, so I thank you, folks. I do appreciate that. Uh, Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.